Launch Process Explained No matter how much history you have and the mystery you have managed to create in the days leading up to the launch, the event must take a few specific questions into consideration. Did you consider the right trends before planning to launch the product? Are you aware of the landscape in which you are launching the product? What makes the product accessible to everyone in the target audience? How to make the launch customer-centric? Do you know the parameters by which to measure the performance of the product? Once you answer these questions, you will be closer to understanding what the launch itself is going to achieve. Now, there are three different types of launches. A soft launch is when a product is introduced to the market without drawing too much attention to the product. Then there is something called minimal launch, which is meant for smaller products. This is also applicable for upgrades to an existing product. And finally, there is the full-scale launch, which is mostly what we have been talking about through this entire book. Step 1 in the process is to make sure the product is launched before it's completely ready. What does that mean? No, we don't mean a half-baked cookie should be parceled out into the audience. A lot of times a product is not perfect till it is tried and tested. This is also possible because the competition is stiff and you did not opt for an A to B testing on the product. In that case, what you can do is a soft launch that helps you reach a few members of the industry or early users. They test the product and give you feedback, which helps you perfect it for the full-scale launch that will probably come months later. Step two in the product launch strategy is to focus on customer experience. Instead of focusing entirely on the product itself, take a look at the ads and sales literature. Step three is to think about the end result. This is specifically applicable to product teams. You need long-term vision and strategic thinking to make a launch and the product itself successful. Step four is the timing of the launch. You need enough time to plan and prepare for the launch. The thing that a lot of businesses miss is that it is okay to postpone a launch if the product is not up to your standards. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.